Hi, I'm Tigran, uh, a marketing coordinator, and I switched uh, from Asana to Teamwork. And for more video reviews like this, please click below. Both Asana and Teamwork um, help you manage your projects, uh, help you organize your tasks um, uh, in the hierarchical uh, um, structure that works best for you and your team. Uh, they help you keep your communication about the task in one place. So uh, in general, they, they uh, help you keep uh, things organized in your projects. Teamwork is really um, is really good for large projects and also like just uh, for companies in general who have several departments. Um, and what I like the most about Teamwork is that it has a, a built-in sort of native uh, time logging feature that's just um, it, it's it's really convenient to have it in one place already integrated with the um, uh, project management tool that you're using. So that's uh, I think one of the uh, important strengths for me when it comes to teamwork. What I like about Asana is that it has a really clean uh, user interface. It's very modern. It's um, it's it's great that it has color card coordination. Uh, that kind of it uh, in the end it appears in the interface in a way that it's immediately. Um, visible which task it is, which category that task belongs if you have uh, a color coordination for your categories. So um, I think for me, the best feature of Asana is its uh, fresh and clean user interface. Both products are relatively, compared to some other uh, project management tools, they're very easy. Um, compared to Jira, for example, they're very easy to get started. Uh, they have a teamwork and Asana have a much simpler interface and it's easier to navigate around. Um, and um, I think uh, for me, teamwork was more intuitive. Its user interface was more intuitive to understand where things are without sort of kind of looking for them a lot or just reading any instructions or watching any onboarding um, tutorials. So um, I think both of them both of them are, are very well, but um, at, at sort of simplicity, but for me, teamwork was much easier to get started with. I think that the top consideration when it comes to project management um, software is, well, the, the interface really, because um, if, if the interface is not easy for your team to use, and I would recommend if, if you have the ability, of course, if your team is small enough when you can do that, just uh, get a trial period and ask your team to kind of explore and see uh, and hear their feedback if it's easier for them to use or not. Um, and so I think that's like the most important thing because if it's confusing, then it, you're going to have a hard time getting things started and kind of onboarding um, your team w to this tool. I have seen this happen where like, uh, there were uh, clear rules set for, for the use of them, obviously like, you know, sort of like uh, categories, labels, and um, if, the, if, if, if the project management tool is not clear enough, um, or for that matter, if the set of rules you have chosen are too complicated, this can well, sort of ruin the experience and take a lot of time until everybody agrees on how they are using the tool. So. I think that that is the most important thing to consider. And the other one is the um, like the tools and the features that are available. So like, um, does does the does it only have Kanban board or does it have Agile board as well? Uh, since different teams, if, especially if your company is large, different teams might prefer to use different method methodology for um, you know managing their projects. So that is another thing to keep in mind. Like, are all the features there? Like, do you want time log, like built-in time logging feature, um, or is it just it's okay to write ETAs and then just add uh, hours spent? Um, so, um, tools and um, simplicity of the user interface is I think the top two uh, consideration when it comes to project management uh, software.